friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about DMA DMA means direct memory access in uh, this method in uh, direct memory access method the input and output devices can directly access the memory without the intervention of the CPU So this method allows peripheral devices to transfer data directly from uh, and to memory without the intervention of the CPU. So in this case what happens uh, there is a hardware unit called DMA controller. And uh, this uh, DMA controller controls one or more devices and uh, it allows devices to transfer data to or from the system's memory without the help of processor. So whenever the data transfer is needed to or from memory, some event notifies the DMA controller. Both DMA controller and CPU use memory bus. Only one of them can use the memory at the same time. At the same time, only one of them can use the memory. So DMA controller sends a, a request to CPU to use the memory bus. In return, CPU sends an acknowledgement to the DMA controller, granting it bus access. Now, after receiving this uh, acknowledgement from CPU, this uh, DMA uh, can take uh, the control of bus to independently conduct memory transfer. And whenever this uh, transfer is complete, the DMA relieves its control of the bus to the CPU. So DMA controller it requires uh, initialization by the CPU. So typical setup parameters includes uh, the address of the source area. the address of the destination area the length of the block and whether DMA controller should generate a processor interrupt once uh, the block transfer is complete. A DMA controller has an address register, a word count register and a control register. This uh, control register specifies the transfer mode and uh, this uh, word count register it specifies uh, the number of words to be transferred and an address register. This uh, contains an address which specifies the memory location of the data <coughs> to be transferred. Usually the DMA controller increment uh, the address register after each uh, word transfer so that uh, the address register contains the address of next memory location because after uh, each word transfer the next uh, transfer will be from the next memory location and uh, the word count uh, is uh, decremented by one after each word transfer 